Hello there, kids. It is I, Straight Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 34 of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, uh, we had just killed those. Uh, really be a place where people go into big buildings and you interrupted my intro their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table yeah there are plenty it's actually a sport before this stuff but yeah that's a sport at least i remember it being called a sport for some reason uh giant worker ant whoa completely blew his head off there's those uh, picnic ruiners. As they finally decided to show up. And I already picked up these markers. I didn't pick up that one. That's a ranger station up there. Uh. Oh, that's another dead horse stalker. Hey there, dude. What you doing? Oh, you left someone behind you there. A mole rat pup, so I guess not really anyone. Just a little insignificant speck. Really? And if you don't try anything, I ain't gonna try anything. That's one and that's two. They're both pups. So if they don't try anything, I won't try anything. Okay. Oh, red scorpions. Giant red scorpion. Huh? Could use your help over here first, dude. <laughs> it's killing that first. That was great. Use up that. Oh, don't want to hit him in the head. I keep forgetting this is a five round. There we go. Oh, they have s plenty things that are bad there. Uh, from what I remember, there's... Uh, I think it was Night Stalkers and Cazadors. Which were made in another DLC, apparently. There we go. We haven't really seen many Night Stalkers or Cazadors in our playthrough, at least in the Mojave. Oh. That's a thing. Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, yeah, you good? So I know in, uh... In uh, hardcore, companions can die just from, you know, regular injuries. They don't, you know. There we go. They don't die from just uh, completing their quest line. They die, like, for real in any sort of way. And that kind of sucks. But, uh, you know. Anything on this one? Mantis four leg. Eh, not very useful. Banana yucca. Yagwai cave. Hmm. Alright then. It's raining now. It's like I'm in Oregon. Whoa! Okay! That warped me to another place in time. There we go. Gotta love when the game does that. Just does it out of nowhere. That that's the water sound? Okay. That's weird. Put this away. And we'll head to some of the markers here. Not a lot of them. This little beach one over here. The wind wall docks. Oh. Uh oh. I don't wanna I don't wanna hurt you. I don't wanna hurt you, puppy. Oh shit. This one I do wanna hurt. 
Fuck young Cazadors. Fuck Cazadors. Fuck them. That's a good doggy. It's a good doggy. <laughs> Doing a little doggy paddle. Ah, that's great. Doggy, I don't want to hurt you. God damn it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That one it doesn't have anything on it. I don't want to hurt you, doggy. Stop following me. Ooh. They're just sitting there. Uh, what the? You're just a regular coyote. Uh oh. Don't you hurt the doggy. God damn it. Not going well. Fuck you. I just hit the claw. I don't have enough to hit it. But I killed the killed the uh, rad scorpion. That's good. There we go. Reload. Cool beans. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's a large wild dog. Really don't want to kill that one. Oh, puppy. Oh. I didn't want to. I want you to die. Mm. What should I do now? Uh, I could use a stim pack and a sunset sarsaparilla. What's my stats sitting? Do I need any foods? Not really. Pretty much set on that. Um, I could use a banana yucca. I would get both of them down in one go. Plus give me some health. I don't want to get near the large wild dog. I don't want to get near that. And that's a dead horse warrior. Okay. I don't want to trigger that large wild dog. What? What? What are you doing? I didn't even get near you. What the fuck? Oh. It's just running around. Being a dog. Okay. Fair enough then. I'll just try and leave it alone. Best I can. Uh, I just realized I haven't actually checked that marker yet. I was too distracted by the coyote pup and all the other stuff that I didn't bother checking the marker. And I really wanted to. No! Dude, no! Stop it! Stop it! We'll fucking beat you! Stop it. Fucking stop it. Oh. Dude! Fuck is... Dude! I hear some odd the fuck is wrong with you? Lands outside Zion. Uh. Is there really a giant thunder lizard that lives inside? God fucking damn it. Try to save the goddamn dog. You decide to kill the goddamn dog. You fucking idiot. Uh. I'm just gonna fucking desecrate your dead. How about that? Fucking fuck you. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Nothing in the clay pot but this one. Ah, oh, I got some. Ooh, I could use that. That and that. I could use all of that. And anything in this one? Nope. Empty. Alright. Well, get the fuck out of my way, you cocksucker. Jesus Christ. Uh, ooh. Could use those. I could sell some of those. This one I think I can cook. Uh, 
Uh, need that, need that, need those. Okay. Cool beans. Uh, let's see what else we got. Cave fungus, rock flowers, and Nevada agave fruit. And what's in this one? Yeah, I'm desecrating your people's little remain pots here. So you fucking killed a dog for no fucking reason, you cocksucker. Fair is fair. <sighs> anyway, we'll continue on. <laughs> Sorry about that. I went on a bit of a tangent there. This game makes me fucking crazy, especially in hardcore mode. <laughs> I still don't know what to do in these sort of situations, so I'm just going, uh, oh, this is not a way I want to be going. It's this way I want to be going. Oop, I want to pick, I want to pick that. I'm sure he did. Salt upon wound sounds like a mean motherfucker. I mean, name alone sounds mean. Let's see if we can get up to this spot. And, ooh, this is a building. Don't see a lot of those. Dead horses mm -hmm. and sorrows mark them on taboo places. Good thing for you, I don't buy into that stuff. Yeah, that is a good thing. This, uh, I'm not gonna find, like, red rum in here, am I? I'm not gonna find, like, some little place with red rum on it or something. I can take all those, because I'm gonna use those. Uh, I'm gonna use that as well. Eh, that's nothing else. Okay. Don't know why people would toss the casings and still use them. Zion Fishing Lodge. Well, there's probably something good in here. Oh shit! Okay, guess there was a couple geckos. Okay, one put down. And that's the other. There we go, I think we got all of them. Reload. Cool beans. Let's see what is in here. And. Got some decent stuff off of them. Gecko meat that I can cook later. Scrap metal. Uh, pork and beans. Ew. That'll just add to my need for H2O. Fuck that. Uh, so, what is here? Ooh, some rounds I can break down. That's cool. Spooky to me. No, really never is. Unless they have, you know, bombs and stuff in them. In that case, they can get pretty spooky. Uh, I do have a lot of weapons now, don't I? Stuff that I can fix together? Yeah, I do. Uh, repair that one with that one. This will cut down a little bit on my weight, which is the main reason why I'm doing it. Uh, especially because I'm just going to be selling them later. Uh, yeah, I think I'm good there. Ooh, and I can uh, this. And walkie-talkies, huh? That's for a different quest entirely. Hey, and now I'm level 12. Fuck yeah. Um, let's see. What should I put skill points into? I should do some of the melee weapons, because I... Do, it's good to have a uh, melee weapon to fall back on. Because uh, you can't carry unlimited amounts of ammunition in hardcore. Uh, let's put some into speech. And what else can I put stuff into? I can put one into science and then put the rest into guns and repair. Yeah, I think that'll work. 
And level 12 gives me a couple new perks. What I'm going to do at 14 is pick up jury rigging once I get to 90 for repair, which might actually take a little while longer. So maybe I'll have to wait until 16 to pick that up. But jury rigging will be a good perk, especially for hardcore. I use it in regular and it makes me just amazing. Jury rigging will be great in this playthrough. For right now though, I think I'm going to pick up... Let's see. Uh, I do want to get these perks because it significantly increases accuracy for both rifle and gun and one-handed guns. Um, I guess sniper would be good because I always aim for the head regardless anyway, so that would be great. I'll take the whiskeys and the vodkas and I'll leave the walkie-talkies in there because that's for a different quest later in here. I didn't exactly intend on finding it, but, you know, found it. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh. Okay. Dog in the distance. Ooh, coyote. Um. Hmm. Up there is a, uh, overlook. I kind of want to go up there. But in this rain, it's kind of difficult to see. Uh, let's go over here. Let's unlock this little s map spot here. Really quickly over here in the east. Northeast, technically. Is that northeast east? I don't know. I don't remember what directions the uh, other ones are. I just know the cardinal and the semi-cardinal directions. Uh, this should be the spot. And there's something here. Again, another large wild dog that I don't want to... Why won't you see what's over here? God. Motherfucking. Clear water docks. Okay. Then what is over here? Oh. Oh. What do you mean, whoa? It was just a rat. There can't really be a place for them. Give away all their money. There it is. God damn it. Fucking. I really just wasted clip trying to kill that goddamn mouse. Okay. Oh, boy. I think that's enough of them for now. That's a big horner. That's not one I want to trifle with. I mean, I can kill it easily, but there's something going on with the big horners, if I remember right. And you decide to kill them anyway. You're an asshole. You are a motherfucking asshole. Fuck you. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. I don't know what that red blip is, but we're not going that way, so fuck it. Not worried about it. Uh, which way am I supposed to be going? Again? <laughs> I kind of went away off course. Uh, Dead Horses Camp. The Virgin Fork Campground is where we're supposed to be. And then we'll continue on that way. A glowing one uses its special ability to, heal, to deliver radiation to its allies. And it heals them. Because they're ghouls. Radiation is good for ghouls. Okay. Gonna head this way. Like we were supposed to do. Before I went all crazy. And decided, oh, I'm gonna explore everything. Then I almost had my ass handed to me by a mantis and a freaking rad scorpion. So I'm just dumb. Oh shit. Woo! Okay, that worked out better than I intended. Oh, Disciple of Canaan. Okay. Up I go. And we head this way, I think. 
This is the right way to the Eastern Virgin. Yeah, there we are. He's trying to say something over there, dude. I cannot hear you. And he's not. Fuck him. Let him lag behind. I don't give a fuck. Uh, ooh, we can make the Tura anti-venom now. Okay. Can make that. Gecko stakes can make those. And healing poultice. Restores limb condition, cuts agility down, but restores HP by a lot for 18 seconds. Hmm. Eh, yeah, fuck it. Agility debuff probably doesn't last that long. Why not? Take all those. Take all that. And Wonder Glue. And let's see if we can make any more. That anti-venom. Oh, but only one. Oh yeah, that's right. I picked up only one of the spore pods. Because that was all that was there. Hollow log. Prickly pear. Okay, at least I can get close to someone who can take this stuff off me. We can sell all this shit. And I have a feeling these are booby-trapped, if I remember correctly. Yep, they are. We'll just untrap those. Now untrap this one. That's Yeah, we'll call that good. Because I know this guy is probably going to walk right into them and then he's going to die on the way here because he ran in through all the traps because he's a fucking idiot. <sighs> I'm not very fond of Follows Chalk. I mean, I know he's a tribal. He doesn't know a lot about how the world works. But Jesus fucking Christ. You don't fucking do the shit he did. That's a throwing spear. How the, why the fuck's a throwing spear over here? And I'll uh, uh, do that one. Oop, -a -doo. Take those. There should be another one in the water here. Take this. Uh, this is a cave here. Fallen Rock Cave. That's one we're going to be exploring in a later episode. Because normally when those markings are on caves, it's something important to a different subplot for this thing. And here we go. I reach Dead Horse Camp. And nope, I have nothing else to do. Uh, nope. Nothing of worth there. What about over here? Anything of worth here? Detected? How the fuck am I detected? Whoop. Okay. Look at those. Look at those. And look at those. Oh, I could use those. Uh, use that. That's about all I need. Okay. And you could use the healing poultice and the Datura antivenom. There we go. I think I'm good now. Unless they have any more good stuff for me. Let's unlock this. Boop. This. Which way? Motherfucking duck a hawk This way. There we go. Take that, that that, um, that, and that's it. And the pistol is what I'll probably be... Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. That's a, uh, little thing. Uh. Okay. Those cases are really good. For some reason, the dead horses use them to decorate their clubs. I mean, I know it's supposed to commemorate 
Joshua Graham, but it's a waste of ammunition. You can just remake them into more. Are you kidding me? Okay, this episode's ran way too fucking long. <laughs> So I'll end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video, even though it ran way far over time. And, you know, share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about the games that we're currently playing together. And I'll see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.